it's National Tree Week and we went to help out at Madeline and Mike's Woodland Open Day near Skibbereen. We've got some rowans, we've got some uh, spindle which has lovely pink fruit on it and we've got two kinds of cherry, bird cherry and wild cherry. And so we're hoping they'll form a nice sort of flowery edge to the forest. And it's kind of a sheltered dip here anyway along the road. It was by far the best day we've had this year. And everyone had a good time. And we even got some trees go. planted. Is that one there? <laughs> <laughs> we leave it on so people know what, 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 what tree that is, OK? Can you put it in? Put it in, exactly, we need to hold it and Jorka will cover it with the earth. The tree planting dance. Don't be scared now. Give Madden the shovel. On the head is it? On the head is it? Who's going to shovel? This was planted about 11 years, 10 or 11 years ago. The final crop is going to be oak. So every 10 meters there's a cluster of oaks planted and around the cluster there, there are alders that are nursing the oaks up and over time we'll thin out the alders to let the oaks grow and thin out the oaks and eventually there'll just be one oak every 10 meters. Sandra and Henry demonstrated logging. Hello everybody. So this is Henry. Henry the horse. And my name is Sandra. What we do today is we show you how Henry pulls some wood out of the woodland here. More more people would have these kind of woodlands where they want to thin a bit and just pull out a bit of um, a bit of firewood and then let the rest grow. The logs aren't very straight and they can bounce about. We don't want any bruised ankles or anything. And Henry demonstrated his own style of tree pruning. Even with this, you know, it'd be quite tricky to stack the quad into here or a tractor or something. So Henry literally turned on the spot here. No problem. Just turn him around, hitch him up, and out he goes again. So that's the great advantage of just working with one small quad. Chain goes on the tree. And you um, can see there's a bit of a knobbly bit here. So um, when you hitch up a lump of wood, you know, make use of, of those lumps. So this is perfect, really. Oh yeah, this would have been only a little warm up for him really, so you could keep him going with this kind of work for a good few hours, so it's nothing really. Um, you know, he could actually pull big, long logs, you know, much bigger than that. Frenchy was there to talk about charcoal making and charcoal use. Gases. Now, with crude methods that I've been using, it's nearly impossible to utilize the gases to, to any major extent. There are big plants where they can store. And Martin was weaving willows. <laughs> And I talked a bit about another use for woodlands. So far about 250 people um, have signed up because they're interested in the idea of 
establishing the woodland burial site for West Cork put people back in the woods, in clearings in the woods, planting trees over them or near them. And there was sunshine and live music and tea and sunshine and cake and sunshine. Who could ask for anything better?